ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਮਾਨ ਤੇ ਸਤਿਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਜੋ ਗੈਸਟ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਅ ਮੈਨ ਆਫ ਆਨਰ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਟਿੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਅਮ ਗੈਸਟ ਦੀ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਅਪਡੇਟਸ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹਨੀ ਹਾਂ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅਮ ਇਟਸ ਕੁਇਕਲੀ ਬਿਕਮਿੰਗ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਏ ਵਾਈਡ ਲੈਵਲ ਹਿਊਮੈਨਿਟੇਰੀਅਨ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਿਸ ਪੂਰੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਨਜ਼ਰਾਂ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਟਿਕੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਤੇ ਦੂਜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਉਹ ਲੋਕੀ ਜੋ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਦੇ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਨੂੰ ਰੈਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਖੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਹੈ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਿਛਲੇ 20 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਨੇ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਲਿੱਤਾ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਕਾਬੁਲ including kabul airport including the presidential palace uh, pichle ek do dinan de vich sanu protests vekhan nu mili hain of course this has come after a departure of the us troops us the troops the coalition forces jo pichle 20 saalan to afghanistan de vich stationed sige ohna da exit taliban ne bahut hi tezi de naal ਉਹਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾ ਕੇ ਪੂਰੇ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਕਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਕਬਜ਼ਾ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਲੋਕੀ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਵੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਅਨਫੋਰਚੂਨੇਟਲੀ ਦੈਟ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਦੇ ਕੁਝ ਸਪੋਕਸ ਜੋ ਪਰਸਨਸ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਦੇ ਰੀਸੈਂਟ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊਜ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਪੀਸਫੁਲ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਇਹ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਜ਼ੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਪਾਵਰ ਇਹ ਪੀਸਫੁਲ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਅਸ਼ਰਫ ਗਾਨੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸ਼ਰਫ ਗਾਨੀ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਅਰਬ ਐਮਰੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਹਨ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੀਸਫੁਲ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਉੱਤੇ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਲਵਾਂਗੇ ਬਟ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੋਲੀਆਂ ਚਲਾਈਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟਰਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁੱਟਿਆ ਸਿਵਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਜਰਨਲਿਸਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਜਿਸ ਕਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਕੇਓਸ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਾਬੂਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਕੇਓਸ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਕਿ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਡਿਪਲੋਮੈਟਸ ਉਹ ਲੋਕਲ ਆਫਗਾਨ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਵੀਆਂ ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਹਲੇ ਤੱਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਲੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਮੁਲਕ ਤੋਂ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਕਿਉਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੁਝ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਅੱਜ ਕਾਬਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹੁੰਚਣਗੇ ਹਾਮਿਦ ਕਾਰਜ਼ਾ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਕਿਉਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਸੋ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਥੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਇਹੀ ਉੱਠਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ 20 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਸ ਇਨੀ ਡੀਪਲੀ ਉਹ ਇੰਬੈਡਡ ਸੀਗੇ ਰਲ ਮਿਲ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਲਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਇਨੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਹੋਣ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੇਓਸ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਕਿਉਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਡੇਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੇਖੋ ਵਕ ਵਕ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਾਈਡ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਸ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ
ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਕਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਲਈ ਉਹ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਬਿਹਤਰ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਏ ਅੱਜ ਉਹ ਸੋਚ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਵੇਸਟ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜੋ 20 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਸਾਡਾ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਸੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਇਹੀ ਨਤੀਜਾ ਨਿਕਲਣਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਤਾਲਿਬਾਨ ਇੰਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਲੋ ਬਰੂਟਲ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਲੈ ਰਿਹਾ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦਾ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਇੱਕ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਨੀ ਹਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਆਰਮੀ ਵੈਟਰਨ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਨੇਮ ਆਫ ਮੈਟ ਜ਼ੈਲਰ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਖੁਦ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਿਪਲੋਇ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਾਲਡ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਲੈਫਟ ਬਿਹਾਈਂਡ ਜਿਹਦਾ ਖਾਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਹੀ ਇਹ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਉਨ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟਰਸ ਉਨ ਲੋਕਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਉਨ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਸੈਟ ਅਪ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਵਾਅਦੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਊਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰੀਸੈਟਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੋਂ ਕੱਢ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਖਤਰਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਟ ਜ਼ੈਲਰ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ MSNBC ਤੇ ਕੱਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਵਾਇਰਲ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖੁਦ ਸੁਣੋ ਕਿਉਂ be doing right now and what i am appalled that the president didn't say was we need to be talking about how we're going to get every single one of these people out cuz let's be abundantly clear people like me looked these people in the eye and made them a promise we promised them that in their time of need we would take care of them how do you ever expect anyone to ever trust us again if we don't do that now while we can and i'm sick and tired of trying to defer the islamic emirate of afghanistan on what we're going to do with the united states of america they're terrified of us i have afghans on the ground right now who are telling me they're going door to door in kabul and they're making lists of people who used to work with us they're telling them with smiles on their face evil smiles that they're going to be back from them once we leave so we either take them now or they suffer consequences um and consequences ta jado law and order nahi hega um consequences to see bhi aap soch sakde ho kis tarah di hon gaya in sare lokan layi um but in any case um military di gal ho rahi hai and sadi community de vich sikh community de vich ek eho je individual han jinan ne sikha da na roshan kita hai US armed forces de vich mainu bahut hi proud mehsoos ho raha hai ki ajj de program de vich tode naal laake hazir hovange lieutenant colonel kamal singh kalsi colonel kalsi agar tonu nahi pata was the first turbaned sikh to serve in the armed forces serving with distinction colonel kalsi afghanistan de vich bhi ਡਿਪਲੋਏ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੁਣਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਇਸ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਲਈ ਰੁਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਰਨਲ ਕਲਸੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ to see vekhreo program ajj da mudda te gal ho rahi hai of the ongoing crisis humanitarian crisis geopolitical crisis jo ke is vele afghanistan de vich play out ho rahi hai is mudde nu leke har ek media ajj charcha kar reha hai ki eh situation inni cheti inni tezi naal inni deteriorate kis tarah hoye ki jithe military intelligence di gal aandi hai ki reports sigiyan jo ke na ke previous administration president trump di administration nu ditti gayi si but even Joe Biden President Biden the administration reports ditiyan gaya si ke agar tuhada departure ek timeline de rahi hunda hai then eho ja chaos eho ja Taliban wallo expansion vekh nu mil sakdi hai fir bhi na ke sirf local afghanistan de vich jo interpreters and various other uh, uh, professional se ge jinna ne us forces di madad kiti but othe de journalists othe di um, politicians othe de oh individuals jinna ne sarkar de naal ral mil ke kaam kita aaj unna di jaan khatre ch hai gi unna nu extraction uh, di load hai gi te chaos ho reha hai kabul de airport de vich chaos ho reha hai pure sheher de vich pure mulk de vich chaos ho reha hai 
सो इस चीज़ को लैके अज थोड़ी जी थोड़े नाल जिस तरह तुम्हें पहले भी दसिया मिलटरी परसपैक्टिव शेयर कर जा रहे हैं कि ऑन द ग्राउंड जो तो ट्रूप्स साढ़े गए थे उन्होंने की सिचुएशन दिखी सी एंड कितने डिसकनैक्ट शायद होया बिटवीन द इंटैलीजेंस फ्रॉम द मिलटरी एंड जो हायर अप्स में रिपोर्ट मिली सी सो इस विषय से इस स्पेसिफिक मुद्दे से साढ़े न जुड़े हैं मैं बहुत ही खुशी हो रही है मान महसूस हो रहा है इस गैस ने तौर नाल हाजिर कर दो प्लीज जॉइन मी इन वेलकमिंग ए प्राउड मेंबर ऑफ द यूएस आर्म्ड फोर्सेस लुटेनेंट कर्नल कमल सिंह कलसी सब तो पहले कर्नल कलसी तोड़ा प्रोग्राम दे विच स्वागत सत्य काल सत्य काल रश्मि जी इट्स सच अ प्लेजर टू बी हियर इट्स अ प्लेजर टू हैव यू सब तो पहले कर्नल आई आई वांट टू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आवर एंटायर टीम एंड ऑल ऑफ आवर व्यूअर्स थैंक यू फॉर योर सर्विस ना कि जो तुम इस मुल्क एक मेंबर ऑफ द आर्म्ड फोर्सेस दे जो तुम सर्विस दे रहे हो फॉर दैट बट आल्सो एज अ प्राउड द स्टार वेयरिंग सिख जो तुम सिख पहचान आइडेंटिटी तो कम्युनिटी ले किया इतने की आर्म्ड सर्विसिज के ओदी कोई देनी नहीं थैंक यू सो मच फॉर फॉर एवरीथिंग यू हैव डन फॉर अस एंड यू कंटिन्यू टू डू थ्रू वेरियस नॉन प्रॉफिट वर्क बट कमल एक्सक्यूज मी कर्नल कलसी यू नो आई आई वांट टू गेट स्टार्टेड विद आई डोंट थिंक देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल जिन्ना नु तोडी बैकग्राउंड नहीं पता कि तुसी किन्नी यू नो आउटस्टैंडिंग सर्विस दीती है बट फॉर दोस दैट डोंट नो प्लीज टेल अस हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बीन अ मेंबर ऑफ द आर्म्ड फोर्सेस इन द यूएस हां जी अश्मिता जी सो uh i've been in the army uh, sanu hun 20 saal ho gaye ne i'll give my standard disclaimer which is ji uh jo bhi aaj gal kar rahe hai this is simply my own opinion ji and it doesn't uh, reflect that of army or dod so ji uh je mere to koi uh, uh galti na kuch kya jaye you know it's a reflection on me not not the army Uh but so hun sanu we saal ho gaye ne uh back in the day i was the first uh uh sikh uh, that got into the us army with uh sikhi sarup uh the star and dari uh that accommodation uh uh process was was the first of its kind in over one generation uh we know ke sikh jede ne sade uh have been serving in the military since the early 1900s you know bhagat singh tind uh and his contemporaries as well as uh six soldiers served in vietnam and korea uh desert storm so uh you know we have a, a very very long history of service so sada uh you know our our goal was simply to just help open doors once again for that great legacy Absolutely. Um and and once again, you know, thank you for that. Um uh, Colonel so coming to the topic in hand, uh, Colonel, uh, you have spent some time deployed in Afghanistan. Is that correct? Hanji, Hanji. Uh Doya Garach, I spent uh, almost 7 months, uh, actually a little over 7 months in Afghanistan. We were in Helmand province, uh, really just close to the Pakistani border. Ji Uh Colonel obviously your background is as an ER physician um as well tell us a little bit about the time that you spent in Afghanistan what did those months look like So I I definitely am a ER doctor on a good day uh but I also have a subspecialty training in EMS and disaster medicine Gee. and I actually do a, a lot of policy work too uh I'm a fellow with the Truman National Security Project it's a think tank based out of Washington DC. Uh so I've been uh, uh lucky to work with uh you know uh many of the previous administrations uh in helping to uh maybe advise or guide uh some of their uh, uh their work on uh six in the military uh and uh, other military matters but uh I'll tell you uh doya gara chujda si the gay afghanistan then that uh one of the things that really struck me was uh was how uh, genuine um and how hard working the afghani people are you know we would meet them and uh they would call me sardar ji and i'm like how do you know to call me sardar ji they're like no 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 we have a long history with the uh with the the six and we uh you know we respect uh six uh, uh quite a bit and so uh it was funny one day i was uh uh in afghanistan and i was in a in a bus there 
and they had uh, uh, Hindi and Punjabi songs playing, and it was just uh, it, it was a bit of a cultural shock for me. Uh, but I've I've always really really enjoyed my interactions with the Afghani people. Uh, I remember uh, there was one incident ke, uh, when one of the young little girls uh, uh, was brought into our uh, our ER. Um, you know, we had a little tented ER on the, on a little operating base in Helmand Province. Uh, it was called Camp Dwyer. Uh, and that little girl, uh, she had a very, very large tongue. It was uh, a, a, gen a genetic abnormality. Yeah. And uh, one of my friends there was an ENT, uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor. And he was bored out of his mind. So I, uh, you know, I, I asked him, hey, can you fix this? Uh, he fixed her tongue. Wow. And, uh, you know, we, we returned her back to her village and her... Uh, uh, she was the grandchild of the the, the chief, uh, I don't know, the, the leader of the village. Mm -hmm. And so he, uh, not only did he show us uh, where all the IEDs were buried, uh, oh, he, he showed us the people that, that buried them. And, and so we probably saved, you know, a, a dozen American lives uh, mm -hmm. just by fixing this girl's tongue and sort of doing, doing the right thing. Wow. Um, so we, you know, we've, I, I, for one, don't feel like our time there was uh, misspent. You know, I was there, uh, you know, working in the ER when Osama bin Laden was caught. Uh, and so, you know, I, I think we did a lot of great, great things in Afghanistan. It is a shame uh, that, uh, that the government has collapsed, and it's, it's a bigger shame that we've not been able to evacuate uh, the people that are looking to be evacuated mm -hmm. uh, since we knew this was coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not talking weeks. We're not talking months. We knew for years that this, uh, this would be an issue and this would be a problem. My friend, uh, my good friend, Matt Zeller, uh, who's also a, 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 a army veteran, uh, founded a, a uh, an organization called No One Left Behind, dedicated to bringing uh, our interpreters and our support personnel yes. back home. Uh, and, and so he's been talking about this issue and this problem for years now. Uh, there's so much paperwork. Uh, there's so much red tape involved. Uh, to, to bring people back here and to honor our promises to them. Colonel Kulsi, I'm so glad you brought up Matt Zeller. A clip of his recently has gone viral um, from Brian Williams' show uh, where he talks about yeah. not just the, uh, the organization um, that you just mentioned to aid the, uh, the resettlement of these uh, personnel and these individuals. Um, but also clip of which, I have a question to ask you, so I'm so glad you brought it up. Also clip of which, Matt Zeller, the former vet, um, says that this thing is not lacking. I mean, he lists specific numbers. There are about 80,000 people who are in the uh, 40,000 ne e, uh, cheese matlab uh, unna express kiti that they want to leave 14,000 di unne uh, aap he said he's, he's sent the names to the administration um, and he said that he's been saying this for years right so of course the big question here is um, you know the military uh, lowest to low highest to highest military personnel on the ground literally John sacrificed karke um, they're fighting for the country and part of that um, you know heroic act that you're doing is gathering intelligence right getting key information of the on, on, on of the situation on the ground um jo higher up leadership nu uh ditti jandi hai taki unna di decision making informed hoy right uh, but somewhere it seems that khas karke jithe afghanistan di gal aandi hai te us da jo exit reha afghanistan to ode vich koi vaddi 
um, information gap, Siga, because the way Matt Zeller put it, um, he has been giving this information, and he said this, you know, I, I, me as an individual, I'm sure there's other folks as well, has been giving this information for years, and yet, Jadoi departure finally, where, you know, it was so chaotic. Is there some kind of disconnect between on the ground and how the information is being re received at the higher levels? Yeah, you know, you, uh, you bring up a really, really wonderful point, which is there has definitely been some sort of a intelligence failure, uh, or maybe uh, the intelligence was there, but uh, whoever it is that is advising uh, President Biden, they simply just did not incorporate it into their calculus. Uh, and if they had the information, they certainly did not, uh, uh, they didn't, they didn't act on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know President Biden, uh, he's a great guy and I, I support him. Uh, he, he mentioned in his speech that there were thousands of people uh, that needed to be brought over. But, you know, that is so far off the mark, uh, as, as Matt Zeller had pointed out. You know, there is a CIA to be jada hon ge bande jade. They are uh, literally on death's door. Uh, as, for, as we speak, uh, Taliban is going around door to door, uh, yes. taking names. Yep. And they said, uh, they told these guys, look, as soon as, as soon as the United States leaves, as soon as all their forces are gone, we are coming back for you. And this is exactly what the Nazis did. Uh, I spoke with my interpreter, um, uh, you know, several times, but I, I uh, spoke with him the other day. Uh, and luckily, he's one of the uh, uh, lucky ones. All the other family, uh, he still has some cousins and other family there. But uh, for the most part, uh, uh, he was telling me how uh, there are there are real Taliban there and there's fake Taliban. There's people that are pretending to be Taliban wow. and they're doing some really horrible things. Oh uh, and so there's just, uh, there's looting, there's chaos, there is, uh, uh, you know, absolutely no form of, of government there right now. So, wow. that, you know, who does this help at the end of the day? Does this, this certainly doesn't help the United States. You know, right. it doesn't help our image around the world. Uh, but I think it, it certainly helps uh, you know, extremist groups like the Taliban, it helps, uh, it helps Russia, it helps China, because it makes the United States look bad. Absolutely. And, and, and once again, you know, uh, not to reference that clip again, but it was just a, such a powerful statement. But it's, it's like Matt Zeller said in that interview, um, you know, we served 20 years in Afghanistan and were able to do it um, with the help of the locals and promises were made to these people. Um, and, you know, how will anyone ever trust the U.S. Um, word ever again if we let these people down? Now, um, Colonel Kossi, I have a lot more questions for you. You're going to stop. I think a little break later. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you Viewers, this is also a very important discussion. The conversation is going to break those apart. ਮੁਰਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਹਾਇਰ ਅਪਸ ਤੱਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਜਾਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਸਹੀ ਡਿਸੀਜਨ ਉਸ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿੱਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਆਮ ਜਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਜੋ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੇ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਬੜੀ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਲੁਟਸੈਨ ਕਰਨਲ ਕਮਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਲਸੀ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਕਰਨਲ ਕਲਸੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਕਰਨਲ ਕਲਸੀ ਯੂ نو ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਆਮ ਇਟਸ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇੰਨੀ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਸੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡ ਦੈਟ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਵਰ ਯੂ ਸਮਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਅਕੰਪਲਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਆਰਮਡ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਆਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ ਹੈਵ ਸਪੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਆਮ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੋਕਲਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉੱਥੇ ਕਨੈਕਟਡ ਸੀਗੇ ਆਰਮਡ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਲੇ ਵੀ ਕਨੈਕਟਡ ਹੋ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦਿਸ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਆਊ
what comes next ki sanu ki expectation honi chahiye right um tell me a little bit about uh, ki military circles de vich khas karke you know other uh, uh, colleagues of yours friends of yours veterans una de vich kis tarah da mahol ban raha um looking at the news the last few days um and i'm sure the ina de vich bhi um kafi uh, you know kafi loki that that are still connected to folks back in Afghanistan or here interpreters or their family members other folks that help them what are they hearing yeah no that's a, a wonderful question uh i know a lot of us are still connected to the uh afghanis that helped uh, support our missions and uh you know it's 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 tough you know i i know a lot of my uh major military then the those take in they're struggling right now uh they don't know uh really uh what to do uh and so i know a lot of my friends have just uh uh turned off the tv uh and they've gotten off social media wow. because it's too much for them to uh to process um and it's it's a lot of uh uh it, it's a lot of bad memories coming back you know and uh Uh, so that is certainly one portion uh of 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 the military community but there's another group of friends that i have that uh, uh you know including Matt Zeller that are working very very hard to help bridge the information gap for this administration and uh i know uh other friends that are actually working on chartering flights uh private flights uh with uh with Boeing and other companies uh uh outside of uh to to bring uh, uh a lot of those uh, people back into uh you know safe territories uh either the US or Canada or others uh, you know i think one opportunity that was lost uh was to you know create a uh, a safe haven uh in afghanistan you know it would been um very easy to cre- take one of the large bases uh in uh like say Kandahar or Kabul and create a sort of a safe zone where people could come wow. and then uh have a uh a, a staged exit uh rather than this sort of chaotic exit as well as you know that Taliban have created all these checkpoints across the country and even though you know one people they may say yeah sure you can go to the airport uh you know the reports we're getting back is that the Taliban are stopping people at the checkpoints and not letting them proceed further wow. so you know there there's a lot of problems here in with regards to the way uh this evacuation was handled as as we know um and i'm hoping uh that uh in the weeks ahead uh that we will be able to rectify and remedy uh uh some of that uh some of that failure um colonel kalsi you know you you talked about the the safe zone and airports they which kis tarah da is will a chaos ho raha kabul airports the scenes i mean those are some of the, probably the most moving imagery um that we will see for 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 years coming out of afghanistan um uh, you know folks clinging onto the outside of airplanes so desperate to get out kabul airport nu lake sanu e bhi hun reporting sunan nu mil rahi hai that the us is sending troops uh, deploying small battalions again to secure the airport taki oh loka nu extract kar sakan including american diplomats right um from a military perspective what does that actually look like so um does this mean that our armed forces are going back into afghanistan is it temporary um is it going to have any uh you know impact on how these extractions are being uh, done and especially jo jo locals di gal aandi hai right um it's one thing if you're an american diplomat uh, or journalist or someone who has essentially connections to a stronger government but when you're a local and uh, toward the check points lagge hue hai toade you know you have a big target on your back you have your whole family and suitcases with you what does it look like to actually get to an airport like kabul jithe shayad koi american military hoye it, it's uh it's it's a really tough fight to get to that point you know you you will have to uh uh try to figure out 
how to avoid the Taliban checkpoints and get past them. Uh, and then you have a very, very long and difficult journey in uh, uh, in very hostile environments. Uh, you know, there's uh, much of Afghanistan is, uh, uh, you know, very dry uh, desert. It gets very hot. Yeah. Um, so to, to travel, you know, uh, 20, 30, 50 miles uh, to get to the airport um, uh, across sort of uh, uh, unpaved roads uh, is, is very difficult. Um, and all the while you're trying to avoid uh, being captured by the Taliban, uh, who uh, potentially would uh, shoot you on sight. Uh, and these, these people are making these journeys uh, sometimes uh, without their families. You know, and, and so they're having to make that very difficult and terrible decision, you know, do do we split up the family uh, in order to try to get, you know, maybe one of us uh, to the airport? And so it's, it's, it's heartbreaking hearing some of these stories that are coming out. Uh, you know, it, uh, you know, we will not know the full impact of this. Uh, we won't know the full impact of this tragedy uh, probably for, for months. Uh, but, uh, but as he koshish kar rahe ki, you know, to, to help, uh, evacuate, not just the, the translators that helped us directly, but the people that, uh, supported the local provincial government also in Afghanistan, you know, the, their president, uh, uh, fled, right. Because, uh, yeah. you know, I, uh, I understand his life was un in danger and, yes. and I understand that, but all the people that supported him are still there and they still have targets on their backs. So we have, uh, we, we really should uh, bring those people over as well uh, because they are, uh, you know, they helped us. Uh, they helped us by supporting and standing up the local government. Uh, and it's, it's uh, I'm, I'm really sad that we have not been able to do more. Colonel, um, you know, there's one area that I think, um, you know, for us, it's especially close to our hearts, um, but even more so um, now it's something that everyone is acutely focused on. Afghanistan There is probably no group more at risk than the women and young girls um, in the country right now. And is cheese no lackey, AV report is reporting Sunanumilri, including from Taliban spokes uh, people that have given press conferences and interviews in the last few days saying that they will, you know, um, honor women's rights and liberties and that, you know, these notions that the Taliban will, um, you know, unleash these very strict living conditions and atrocities on the women and young girls there um, is a thing of the past, that, that the new Taliban won't be doing that, that they'll be allowed to, um, you know, attend school of some sort or um, leave the house with the appropriate permissions and measures etc um once again to see the ote up you know you were deployed for months um you worked with the locals uh, i'm sure you're connected with a lot of them still um for the women and children koi hope hai ki kisi navi um jo bhi future the government ya uh, you know, whatever uh, controlling party uh, takes power, whether it's the Taliban or whatever remains to be seen. Um, what does the future look like for the women and the young girls of Afghanistan? Yeah, uh, well, you bring up a really wonderful point. You know, the I think the immediate future for uh, young women and girls uh, uh, in, in Afghanistan it looks bleak. Uh, they are, uh, you know, they're uh, currently under uh, uh, a lot of duress, and the Taliban historically uh, has not treated uh, women uh, very well at all. Uh, their personal freedoms have been restricted, as you know, and uh, their education has been limited. So I, uh, I hope that. Uh, uh, the Taliban evolves into a a party uh, or perhaps a uh, a system of government that allows women and and girls to 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 be equals to men. Uh, but I uh, 
you know, I, I just don't see that right now. You know, I, I think right now uh, they are uh, they are trying to 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 put up an image that they will they will become this this uh, better uh, form of government. But right, uh, if I'm to judge historically what they have done uh, to what they want to do, I, I think they have a a long road to travel before they uh, uh, they can. I mean, uh, you know, long road indeed, but I, I read something really interesting. It was an op-ed that basically said, listen, the Taliban and these local forces that have been fighting, uh, you know, against the government, against the allied uh, troops in the United States, have long said that they don't want foreign influence, foreign boots on their soil. Well, now their wishes come true. Uh, now, you know, all the foreign boots have left, and with that, uh, perhaps the aid and the assistance that they were getting to uh, bring the kind of reforms that are so desperately needed. But in any case, uh, let's see, Joe and I, you know, Milia, is that now handle kar de is so power new the country the responsibility new. Colonel, I wish we could keep talking about this. This, this topic has so many uh, angles to cover, especially with your insight and expertise in this regard. Um, but I have one final question for you before we let you go to night. Um, Colonel, uh, you know, there's been a, a lot of voices, you know, international level the, uh, voices, including Malala Yousafi, who said that today's date, there's a crisis of humanitarian crisis developed. There's a very urgent need for those refugees, uh, the, the folks that make it out from the land crossings, right, into Iran, Pakistan, um, Uzbekistan, in these regions, and that, uh, you know, urgent refugee camps need to be set up that provide, um, you know, basic facilities. Um, just your experience in the region uh, from a military perspective, do you see these nations setting up the kind of refugee camps, um, you know, that are needed? Or do you think that we're going to have a looming refugee crisis in the coming months as well? Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't think that there's any way we can avoid a uh, humanitarian crisis. We're already in the middle of it. Uh, we are already in the middle of the refugee crisis. And, and what uh, uh, Malala and so many others have pointed out is that we we absolutely need the infrastructure to support that uh, uh, humanitarian issue and, and crisis. So uh, I think we have to uh, put funds into that, you know, and help develop the, uh, uh, the necessary camps and aid to uh, to make sure that these people are, are taken care of, uh, and I I think it makes sense for the United States to take a lead in assuring uh, ensuring that uh, uh, this uh, these people are taken care of. Yes, um, I, I, I agree. Definitely the onus is there, but let's see how it plays out because, of course, it's unfortunately not just about um, the human lives at stake here, but it is a political game as well. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Singh Kelsey, such a pleasure to have you. Once again, thank you for your time. Thank you for your service, uh, not just in the armed forces, but in the Sardi Sikh community. Thank you so much. Please do join us again. Um, we'd love to hear more from you. But for now, have a good rest of your night. Sat Sirikal. Sat Sirikal. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. जी um, इतने एक छोटे जी ब्रेक ले रुकने हैं ब्रेक तो बाद कुछ और अपडेट्स किस तरह है सिचुएशन विच सब तो रीसेंट डेवलपमेंट्स प्ले आउट होनी और दोबारे गल करेंगे ब्रेक तो उस बार ब्रेक तो बाद एक बार फिर सारे नु स्वागत कर दें हैं um, हम तुसी सुन ले हैं कर्नल कल्सी ने um, किन्हें सिंपल शब्दांच सानु दस्य है कि अफगानिस्तान दे विच ए सिर्फ एक जियोपॉलिटिकल एक मिलिटरी स्ट्रेटेजिक क्राइसिस नहीं डेवलप हो रही um, एक ह्यूमैनिटेरियन क्राइसिस ऑलरेडी बन चुकी है इस ह्यूमैनिटेरियन क्राइसिस दा जो इंपैक्ट होएगा सानु आन वाले महीने साल दे विच झेलना पैना है बट सानु ऑलरेडी सोचना चाहिए है उन लोकां बारे जिन्हों शायद अफगानिस्तान एक रैन जोगा मुल्क ना रहे उन औरत उन बच्चिया बारे जिन्हों का फ्यूचर अज साडे हाथों च है उन लोगल्स बारे जिन्हों ने एक डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट के पिछे अपनी सपोर्ट पाई ना कि एक एक्सट्रीम फंडामेंटल 
ਟੈਰਰਿਸਟ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਲਗਾਵ ਲਿੱਤਾ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਸਾਰੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੱਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਆਮ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਇਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਦੁਹਰਾਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਆਰਮਡ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਮੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਮਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਲੂਟ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਡਿਪਲੋਇਡ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਬਟ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਉਹਦਾ ਨਤੀਜਾ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਿਕਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦਾ ਦੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਟ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਮੈਟਰ ਵਾਟ ਮੈਟਰਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈ ਯੂ ਸਰਵਡ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਵ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੈਟਿਕ ਆਈਡੀਅਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਵ ਕੀਤਾ ਐਂਡ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੱਦ ਤੱਕ ਅੱਜ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਪਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਬਿਹਤਰ ਹੈਗਾ that una nu ik dictatorship ik extremist fundamentalist society vich rehn di lod nahi hai ke agar o chaan te o ik democratic society vich reh sakde hai a ideals a soch a awareness una nu mili saadi military operations karke saade 20 saal afghanistan de vich jo assi bitaye ode karke so is cheez de naal e program di samapti karde ek bari fir um, i want to thank ਕਰਨਲ ਕਲਸੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਨੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਕੌਮ ਲਈ ਤੇ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਲਈ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਕੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਲੂਟ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਕਮੈਂਟਸ ਕਨਸਰਨਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਲਿਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ infojustbroadcasting.com ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ justbroadcasting.com ਹੁਣ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਓ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ